Stay frosty, Elliot whispers to Dusk. The noises of the undead outside have grown silent, suspiciously so. While Dusk studied the intricate workings of becoming a biomancer, the dead moved outside, fighting an unseen foe. And now, the woods will head back out into what remains of the night. With only a few hours to spare, they seek to reach an apartment tower to climb up high so they may spy on their surroundings and hope that they see a path forwards. And it is with that we shall dive on in. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. No hope. Where it seems with every episode, we get that little glimmer, that little glimpse of hope. And I do think that biomancy is that for Dusk. We'll see though, we'll see, because it could lead her down a dark path, a path of inevitable and uncontrollable change. Only time will tell. For now though, we are going to start to haul this solar array downstairs and hope that we're not going to be greeted by a whole load of trouble. So far, so good. And we're going to try and see if we can put this panel into the shopping cart right away. So, volume-wise, yeah, it looks like we're good. We can still fit a hundred liters worth of volume in here. Pretty good. Another potential um, movable storage for us is garbage cans or recycling bins, if we can find any that still have wheels. And yeah, there's definitely been some fighting here. Something blew up down here, and we now have uh, a huge boomer just wandering around outside with bile dribbling from its mouth. It has appeared to have changed, becoming much, much larger. Okay, that is unfortunate. So let's get a little closer. Maybe try and see if we can hit it with a mind hammer. Oh, you knock everything nearby backwards. I think we accidentally just did a wave of force. We did. We did, because uh, we had two new spells added in, and I was doing I, which is what our Mind Hammer used to be. So, let's try and Mind Hammer again. 42 damage is really nice. Not quite enough to take this Boomer out, though. So, we're going to get a little bit more of our stamina back. As it starts to get closer, let's not get boomed here. We also mm, don't really want it to be making too much noise. But let's see. Let's try and reach out yet again. 17 damage, not quite as good. We're staggered it, so we might just actually be able to get away here. Yep, there we go. Let's start to make our way towards the north. We are just going to be waiting for a second here, try to catch some of our stamina back, and we see a small slime just skittering around, so I have to imagine that's probably what the dead were fighting. Now, uh, we are hungry. We can fit quite a bit into our stomach, but we don't actually have that much to eat. We've got nothing to eat currently, right now. So we do need to start to consume some calories. We'll start off with the root beer, and we're just going to try and see if we can find some other things around. Okay, rolling trash can. You see, something like that, I think, could be what we're after. I am intrigued to see... Wow. Uh, I was going to say, what kind of volume it can take just in general. But that that's a bone plate wolf. It is nearly dead, though, thankfully. So we are going to force shove that back against the wall, and I might try and see if we can have a quick look at this thing. Uh, yeah, examine the vehicle. Volume zero, because yeah, there's nothing there right now. Okay, well that makes sense. But yeah, if it was working, we'd be able to see exactly how much we could take. We've got even more slimes here, which is intriguing that we're seeing so many slimes. We've got cellar spiders down here. I was hoping that we might be able to just find some extra food in the kitchen. We're not going to worry about bashing these things right now. Um, this house is an absolute mess though. Bile spatter all over the show. We've got slime globs over here, slime stains, just all over the place. I don't know what happened here. Warehouse spider. Okay, let's just leave the uh, shopping cart behind for the moment here, and we'll just have a look around this very messy kitchen to see what we've got. Okay, there's bandages on the ground. We're going to pick those up, most certainly. Some medical gauze here as well, so that's great. We'll definitely look at taking that. And then we have some Nico wafers, which we're probably going to knock back immediately. We can here some activity outside though so we do need to be a little bit wary of that there's lots of tea leaves and that's pretty much it okay so i am intrigued by what might be down in the basement hey it's the same huge boomer from before it's kind of been following us to a degree okay wow this is a bad place i don't want to be here anymore 
yeah, that's is this is not great. There's just a load of cockroach bodies and just just so many spiders. Let's not be in this house. Hey, Elliot, that sounds like a good plan to me. So we are just going to start to push him up and out the way. Oh, and I think that cellar spider may have followed us upstairs. A little hard to tell. Oh boy, that's a considerable amount of slimes. That's a ridiculous amount of slimes. Elliot, please tell me you're not going to try and fight all the slimes. Please tell me that's not what you're trying to do. Okay, it does sound like he's trying to get away right now. Oh boy. Okay. Hello, Devourer. Okay, and my gosh, so many attacks from Dusk here. It's down, it has heavy arterial bleeding, and that's Elliot. Okay, uh, and this is just floor. I thought this was a fence. It isn't, so we can kind of just go straight over it. Elliot, get away from those slimes, buddy. They're blind, they're just going to follow the sound right now, and that's... That's good enough for us. Okay, so let's turn off our blinking for a second here. We're going to be trying to make our way up towards the urban city block here. We know that things are a little uh, dodgy around, well, around this area here. That's where we had the really big horde. So the roadworks may actually have some tools and resources that we could want. So we could always have a look at going for them. I think for the moment, we're just going to try and stay in the center of the road where possible. And uh, we're just going to try and see if we can ignore these slimes wherever we can we will fight them when we need to we're seeing a shocker brute around here somewhere um not sure where exactly that was but we want to stay away from that yeah turn that safe mode back on check our position we're gonna have to take a right in just a moment's time we can hear more activity off towards the left but it's not interested in us right now so that works for me that zombie is though so we'll go and kill you really quick there we are check them over check the wallet that cash card, yeah, we're not going to turn down anything that has, you know, three to four hundred credits in it. The Thorny Shambler is a little bit of a problem. It does have smoke in its eyes right now, though, so it's not going to be able to see us. Oh, and our skin tingles because, <laughs> yet again, I need to get used to these new bindings. Okay, so far hand is now H. We'll go. That's didn't want to do far hand. <laughs> Wanted to do force push, but hey, here we are. Uh, the Thorny Shambler is in front of us, so we might as well kill it now. There we go, that's exactly what I meant to do. Dusk, you're you're a champ. Let's take the joint, take the multivitamins, and let's have a look at moving on. We do have our um, electrical discharge on now, though, so that's good. I mean, like, that's a, a defensive thing that we should just look at having up whenever we possibly can. Oh, great, a screecher. Okay, we don't... Well, it's already screeched. That's, that's not great. So, <laughs> let's take it down. Oh boy, and we really need to get away from where that sound was because everything is going to be heading up towards there. Check that position again. Roadworks are straight ahead. So we're going to start to make our way on over towards that and see what we have going on here. This looks like an ambulance maybe. It is indeed an ambulance. So we might have bandages in the back. Let's leave our shopping cart alone for the time being. and We'll just check this here. Yep, okay, it's looking good. Excellent, so... Going over both of those, we're going to take all of those bandages. Probably not going to worry about the extra drugs right now. We're doing okay in that regard. We spotted a feral human. Stop picking up. Yes. Are you going to... Yeah, you are going to cause us some trouble. Okay. Let's far hand you over towards us. We didn't even need to do that, actually. It got over towards us right in the nick of time. All right. Smash that corpse. And... Oh, great. Okay. Well, it's coming for Elliot now. And Elliot... Oh, boy. Okay, so a lot of things happened there. We had a feral axeman just kind of dive through this towards us. Um, he did get quite injured in the process, though, so that's good. He's downed and he's heavily bleeding. We've got a zombie brute that's right in front of us now, though, which is not super great. I'm tempted to just wait a turn, see if we can go and, yep, shove him back like that. Because, yep, that works. That works for me. Um, okay, it also looks like the axeman is down. We now got a zombie predator that's coming towards us though. Is it worth a few bandages for us to stay here? Not really, but this isn't a bad position for us to be fighting. I say that, but it could well be, <laughs> because it takes us a second or two to move around. Let's see if we can actually get away with grabbing this stuff now. Okay, yes, the answer is yes, and just. What else is down here? Chocolate bar, we'll grab you. The salted popcorn, same deal. Okay, so much activity here. All right, and lots of bleeding as well. Um, so as we try and move away from here, you can see that we're putting pressure on the wound. It should stop before long. Both of those are done. Okay, that's good. And now the road works. Let's see what we have going on here. We've got a zombie child that Elias, thank you, does his thing with. 
um, really want to take down that pupating zombie, so we're going to try and charge it as quickly as we can. Take that out, and then we'll go for the grappler. And then we've got a webbed zombie over here. A little different from a swimmer, it would seem. Or maybe a renamed swimmer. We've also got a zombie soldier close by as well. This firefighter could be problematic. Nope. Not a problem. We had the fog lift for just a second there, but it came back again pretty quickly, unfortunately. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go around the outskirts of the roadworks here to see if there's any toolboxes or anything like that. It doesn't look like there is, so it's just that one pothole there. Uh, this vehicle might have some stuff. We're hearing a lot of smashing to the southeast currently. Got a dollar store up there, gun store. Nope, okay, I think we're just gonna go straight towards the city block up here. So we're gonna try and stay on the road yet again. I think that is the safest option for us. It does leave us a bit in the open, but I think more things tend to wander around by the buildings because that's where other people and other creatures generally tend to be. Put our safe mode back on and we're nearly in known terrain. There we go, okay, so. We've seen this stuff before, so theoretically it should be relatively safe. I say that as a thorny shambler uh, hits us with a dart. Okay, so let's go hit it with our own. With a force shove that's going to send it back into the wall there. How damaged are you? You're pretty damaged, so we're going to do one more of those. Shoving you back against the wall. We'll check your corpse. Nothing. Okay, alright, what's that there? It's a cigarette pack, and we've got a decayed zombie. That is, yeah, really, really falling apart. Batwing zombie there briefly. That is no more. And, okay, Urban City Block is just past the craft shop and the gun store and restaurants and stuff like that. The craft shop could potentially have some things for us, so we're going to try and check that out. This looks like a road roller, which can be um, a just a super fun vehicle to have. But it is also pretty, pretty messed up. The roller drums are in kind of okay condition. So it is, it is tempting to have something like that on your frame, but it's also going to weigh it down significantly. You need to have a pretty powerful engine to be able to get that thing going. And you can't really go all that quick. And sometimes you really do need speed and cataclysm. So you kind of have to work with what you've got. Okay, so... What kind of craft shop is this? It looks like it's mostly going to be glass things, so I don't think we're going to have any welding rods. There is a possibility. I wouldn't completely write it off, but generally when you see one type of craft in a craft shop, it, it's got to be all that kind of craft. So I think it's all going to be glass blowing. And right now, well, right now I don't know where Elliot bloody got to. Okay, stick with me, brother. Let's just, <laughs> let's keep to the plan. We've only got around about an hour until sunrise, I think. Let's just see how long it is. Uh, yeah, an hour and two minutes until daylight, so ideally we'll be inside and at the top of the tower when that happens, and this is it here. Okay, the urban city block, okay. So from this position, it's not that difficult for us to jump back into a subway station to be able to get the heck out of here. We've used this subway station before. Uh, we could also just head straight along the road. That's totally an option for us as far as escapes go. I was tempted to go to the church that was down here as well, but it was just a little bit further than I wanted to go with the time that we had left. So, right, we don't need to bring the solar panel all the way upstairs with us, so we'll leave it here for now. I do want to just remember the vehicle position though, so we can keep track of where that is. We're going to go through some kitchens here, we're going to try and see if we can find, you know, anything that's left in these apartment buildings for us to eat. I doubt there's going to be anything of use in any of the rooms here. Uh, we can see quite a few dead on the other side. We've got a zombie medic over here who could actually have some goods for us. So I am tempted to try and take them out. We'll let them kind of come towards us. See if they've got any bandages on them. They do not. No, they do not. Okay. And really not much in this kitchen at all. Okay. Lots of activity over this side here. I'm tempted to just peek downstairs. You know what? Yeah. Let's see what's going on down here. Oh, interesting. Okay, we do have some safes. We've got lots of cardboard boxes. So this is all just um, like apartment storage by the looks of things. A glass bottle. Ooh, wee. We've got some clean water, a lunchbox that doesn't have anything in it currently. But who knows? There could be some interesting things here. So we are going to have a little bit of a look through here. See if we can find anything cool. Skeleton jumpsuit. I mean, that is that is kind of cool, but it's poor fitting. So alas, no good for us. Vampire fangs though. I mean, that's just, that's great. It's worn close to the skin, in the mouth. It gives you a bit of mouth encumbrance. 
doesn't do much to give you, uh, co- uh, you know, armor. Plus, we have real things, <laughs> so we don't need to worry about that so much. Uh, Liberty's pants and pumpkin mask. I mean, that that is certainly more tempting, but we will also pass that one up. Um, okay. Okay. Is this the sewer? Yeah, it's sewage. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know it linked up. That is kind of cool. I like that. We might want to do a little bit of exploration down there. We shall see. We'll also see if there's anything else here that we want. There is a Lincoln roadmap which I don't think we are going to need. We've already used a lot of roadmaps, although in saying that, uh, no, they go they go pretty far at this stage. So I'm not that concerned about seeing any further at this point. Um, can we open you? We, we can. Okay. Yeah, it was locked, but it wasn't locked. I will take it. So we'll climb over here. Um, I don't think there's anything in that footlocker. You take it down. So no, I don't think there's anything in it. Um, the safe, I'm tempted just to crack it open. There is a possibility that there is things in there that will get damaged when we try and break it. If we try and pick it, it would take a long time. We need a stethoscope to do that as well. So let's instead go and enhance our strength. And that's going to put us at 40 strength, which is very good. We are going to go and change to force unarmed. And we're going to see, yeah, if we can smash this thing open. Oh, there's a huge boomer down here. So that's a little bit more of a problem. Um, we are going to go make that go boom. We're going to force shove it back against the wall there, um, which didn't really seem to do anything. I think it's because we're trying to push it through the fence. So instead, we're just going to go for a good old fashioned mind hammer. And that does what we need it to. Okay, we're going to need to get some stamina back before we can enhance our muscles yet again. And then we'll get back to smashing. Okay, there we go. What have we got? There's some antifungal drugs in there, which we already have, so we're not that concerned with that. Let's go catch our breath. We can see a zombie brute now, though. Um, where? Okay, apparently we can't see it anymore. Now we can. Okay, you're there on the stairs. I do see you. I recognize you. And we are just going to have to mind hammer you because we can't do much else from this position. We downed you, okay. I guess if we did clamber up here, you could grab us, which is a problem. We're gonna try and force shove you from here. That will do it, Dusk. We did take more damage than I would like, but alas, sometimes these things do happen. A thorny shambler now. Uh, I'm guessing you're on the stairs. Yep, you most certainly are. So climb up, try and dodge it if we can, and then we're gonna force shove it back against the wall. And we'll see if anything else comes out. They haven't immediately. So what else have we got here? Tarpaulins, 101 crafts for beginners, and a sinister cloak, which I think that Elliot has worn the sinister cloak before. I feel like he has. Impressive, very impressive. Um, the tarpaulin can be useful for making, you know, temporary shelters and everything like that, but we don't really need that right this second. The duct tape we will certainly take. The vacuum pump is tempting for vacuum sealing some food potentially but we might need a different kind of vacuum for that i will try to keep in mind that there is a I, or do we just let, let's just take it why not just take it right on stuff is super 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 rare in this and i should just be taking things like that more often the sinister cloak is honestly kind of tempting especially for when it comes to winter um <laughs> The black side is currently facing outwards. Use it to reverse it and show the red side. I see. If we were to wear the Sims cloak right this second, what would it uh, conflict with? Let's put it on and see. Okay, I think it's conflicting with the cut resistant apron. I think it's probably more important for us to have the apron on than the sinister cloak right this second, as much as it pains me. Wow, our fingerless gloves are completely broken. I think we need to try and keep up the uh, well, the upkeep on those going forwards, because, uh, yeah, that gets damaged rather quickly. So, Sinister Cloak, we will be taking that off, but we will be taking it with us, uh, because I see a future in which we may want to try and use that. Okay, we'll explore the rest of the basement here, see what else we've got going on. Our protective electrical currents are nearly entirely gone at this stage. Good to know. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. So we'll crack this open as well. We can see a howling dog, which isn't immediately hostile towards us. Um, I am intrigued to see where that is going to go. So we're going to have a quick look at that. Um, the longer that we are in and around sewage, uh, the worse we are going to feel. Um, let's see. I think it just connects to yeah the other side of this city block. 
Oh boy. So, quite a bit of activity down here. There could be things down here that are worthwhile us having a look at, so we are gonna hold the door. Thankfully, we had no acid spill on us. We're actually gonna go and yell now to try and get their attention, get them to head towards us. We are going to mind hammer the boomer as well, which is gonna make even more noise. Uh, and then we're just gonna hold the door because they're gonna have to walk into the acid to try and get to us. This is the best scenario that we have to clear this basement. Uh, another boomer. Okay, so we'll go and mind hammer you as well. Uh, not quite enough to take you out, so we'll try and do one more of those. That does it. We'll just hold our position, catch our breath, the howling dog has been spotted. It's tracking right now. Um, I feel like we should take that thing out. I mean, it would be a kindness, right? Yeah. With her mind, dusk ends its life. Or its unlife. I mean, it was kind of on its way to undeath. So right now I'm just waiting for the acid to dissipate. It's gone now. And let's just check that wallet before we move on. Nothing. Okay. All right. So basement. What do you have for us? A survival knife? You do. We don't really need that right now though. Oxidizer powder. Uh, we've got a few different furnaces down here as well. Let's see. Whoa boy. So that's a sproglodyte. Um, Elliot, could you please? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Much appreciated, brother. Um, nothing in the laundry here. Okay. Yeah, definitely not as much in the way of storage on this side. Okay, that's totally fine. So we're just going to head back around and make our way up the stairs. We could have gone up those other stairs there, but I feel like I kind of want to try and stay in this side of the building for now. Um, oh boy. Yeah, we've had a bit more activity here. We're just going to go straight upstairs because I feel like that's probably going to be a little bit safer for us. Elliot is still with us, which is great. Let's go and just smash this door down. There we go. Got there eventually. Hearing more activity downstairs. Got dish towels foil you know what let's actually take the cast iron frying pan because i know that we didn't actually have a cooking tool back at home which is despicable yes we need to make sure that we have something going forwards yeah a lot of destruction here i think most of the undead in these apartments probably smashed their way out after they turned robotics kit for young learners and there's an instruction kind of thing for it as well let's take it because i think that that can actually help us when it comes to proficiencies and it could just be a fun little project for dusk to work on um yeah not finding much in the way of food here i guess i'm not surprised we've got a violin case here interesting and kind of cool i i like that that is a thing in here you know if you do want to carry around one of your instruments perhaps you played before everything went bad it's a good way to try and keep something like that safe. Okay, we are going to actually open up this if we can. All right, so we can clamber right outside. We can see a lot of activity down below at the moment, so we'll keep that in mind and just uh, keep making our way up. Checking out these rooms here. The doors have been completely smashed off and that is a thorny shambler. So, you know what we're going to do. We are going to go and force shove that first of all back against the wall. Excellent. My next move would have been pulling it towards us so that we could try and attack it, but that did more than enough damage for us. No good cash cards on that one and nothing in the kitchen for us to worry about. So, on to the next apartment. Looking in here, I really should be double, triple checking the bathrooms for alcohol wipes and other useful things. Multivitamins most certainly being one of them. Uh, speaking of, we should probably look at taking some multivitamins. We do have a lot of them here and we need to remember to try and get Elian a vitamin C shot or something like that because uh, yeah, the scurvy is hitting him pretty hard right now. Ooh, baseball helmet. Good if we didn't have, you know, a rigid head thing going on. And Elliot, while he could wear it, it would just be really uncomfortable for him because of his, uh, well, already rigid outside. Okay, nothing else really in this apartment here that we're going to worry about. So, yet again, we are just going to make our way up and we're actually at the top now. So we'll open that there, we will just wait here for a little while, and let's see, we've got 36 minutes until sunrise, so we'll wait that time. Actually, hang on, let's go and put another bandage on just in case. And I might want to put on a proper bandage on our leg, just because that is quite injured. Then an adhesive bandage on the others if they need it, it looks like our head might. There we go, let's continue waiting. Okay, we've finished waiting. The first of the sunlight should be starting to crest 
on over the horizon now. Uh, we won't be able to see much further just yet, but given a little bit more time, I think we will be able to. I think we should probably get ready and wield our umbrella, which we are going to go and expand. Let's just wait half an hour. Oh, there we go. That is most certainly the sun. So if we just go downstairs and then back upstairs again, and then out here, I think we should be able to see everything else that's going on in and around here. And we most certainly can. And oh, great. Fantastic. So we're already seeing some good things. This over here is a radio tower. Radio towers just give us so much more sight of the area. We can already see a lot. We can see a stadium that's over here. There's an apartment roof tower that we're making out. Yes, there was the other church that we saw there. And there is a cathedral there as well. Um, over this side, we have a homeless shelter. Okay, that's quite high up, it looks like. Uh, but looking down around us here, Galloway Plantation is the next area that's, well, over here, including this little um, stadium. And, oh boy, I can see a person over here. David Goldman, who's just hanging out in a cave? Okay, David, what's going on? I feel like that's someone that we may need to try and approach. Um, and... Again, it's one of these things where I think there is a sign of life. That's how Dusk is able to kind of figure out that there is someone there and then kind of hone in and figure out who that person is. Now, we can also see a lot of activity up and around the subway station here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Okay. We kind of have an open area around here and we have a magic meadow just in amongst everything else here. Now, there are like so many houses and things like that. There is a strong chance that there could be one that has something to do with magicalism around here. Generally, we f have found magicalism like things in cabins. We, we tend to find those cabins around woods and there aren't that many woods. And it's also a very specific type of cabin. But the fact that the magic meadow is up here, that's interesting. Unfortunately, we can't do too much with the Magic Meadows just yet. Sometimes there can be interesting things that we can find there, but it's most often raw resources that we can use for things. The garages up here, they could be quite useful when it comes to tools. We have actually checked out the bookstore up here. Yeah, but we haven't managed to get over towards where these garages are. Yeah, because we didn't, we couldn't see them before. So the radio towers, where exactly are they? Let's see. So... I, there's a few of them around here. I'm thinking this one here is probably the one that we'd want to try and go for, but that's also where all of the hordes are. Uh, so maybe not. Um, over here, near the stadium, we have our cave and we also have a radio tower. I think that that is our next destination. I think that's what we're going to try and go for. If we want to try and be super stealthy during the day, we can go up here to the subway station and try and pop out over here. It's not that much of a trip for us to do something like that. That might actually be a much safer option for us because then we can just pop out here. We can see what's going on uh, with the radio station and see what's going on with David Goldman. I think we'll probably try and go for David in the cave. First of all, there is a subway station that's right here. So we could actually pop out. Okay, it's a little bit more of a journey, but we could pop out right next to the cave. I think that is the maneuver. Yeah, I mean, it's right here. That's that's really close. I don't think the sewer hooks up with it um, that's underneath this house here, but yeah, I think we should be able to make this work. Um, it will be a little bit difficult having Elliot with us because he's going to want to try and get involved in fights, but I think we can, <laughs> I think we can make it happen. I'm cautiously optimistic. Let's just say that much. Uh, we are going to have to keep our umbrella out, which means that okay, forced unarmed is already on. That is great. Uh, we're going to be carrying this with us as well so we'll be a little bit slower but i think that's gonna be okay well we'll see we'll see how we go we've got a shady zombie that can see us right now we're gonna try and go in between the buildings um it has only just gotten to sunrise as well um elliot please stay with so they aren't gonna be able to see super well do we want to go in between the buildings or on the road honestly in between means that we're going to be seeing less but it does mean that we can get into scenarios in which we are going to be uh, kind of pressed up against our enemies. Um, I just, we're going to wait for Elliot here before we try and go any further. Okay. All right. Let's go up here. Carry on through. This is working. This this is actually working out for us so far. So all we got to do now is get past this gun store and then we are at 
the subway station. Okay, mm, all right, we've got to zap it that way. So let's head down this way instead. See if we come, can come around the front side of it. This is the gun store. We can see that it is open at the moment. We've got a swimmer zombie making its way on over towards us. Elliot, you're keen to help us out here? Wonderful. Um, we're still stabbing with our horns. Dusk, deadly as ever. And where is our entrance? Is it going to be around the right hand side? Is it going to be around the top? I hope it's around here. It is. Okay, so that's a really quick in for us at the moment. Good, I will take it. And I wouldn't mind taking the subway map as well. We've already got a really good map going, but we don't know what's out over that way. So there could be more. We're going to take that. We may be able to just quickly read that right now. So we're just going to search sub. And we're going to go and read through that. We've added those to our map. So looking down here, well, we can't see any further. That's unfortunate. So we'll see if we can go and drop that map off because we've already used it. Can we take this cart downstairs? No, we can't. Damn, that's a little bit more of a problem. It's not the end of the world, though, because we are going to have to come back here. We're remembering where this cart is. Uh, oh, the casters are actually just, like, totally toast on it now. So... Yeah, there, there's that. I don't think that we can fit that into our backpack. The solar panel array is here. So I'm just going to make a quick note and just say solar. We know that the shopping cart is there, that the solar is there. We have an idea of what's going on. Now, seeing as we're downstairs, we aren't going to need this umbrella anymore. So we're going to go and put that back into our inventory. We're going to have a look at moving on. And I'm not sure if we actually put that back into our pack or not. We may have. If we did, that's great. It's working really well then. Um, yeah, we're not going to linger. We are going to try and see what is going on over here. Uh, hmm. Hmm. That's a little, a little bit of a problem. We've got a proper shocker zombie over there. A devourer. Fat zombie as well. So th there are numbers there. We've got concrete mixes, reciprocating saws and no drills not a single drill we can get drills from taking um drill presses apart i believe but we're in, well we'll cross that bridge when we come to it yeah okay elias please tell me that you've made it down here you have that's good it's kind of cool that we can see the shadow before he emerges down there so i think that'll give us a better idea if we are actually being tracked by the dead so which subway station was it i think it was this one here um not quite, no, it's this one. Oh, and hey, look, we can see those little highlighted squares. That's what it looks like when we have something revealed. So I feel like we probably would have noticed the visitor pass because, I mean, like, that's kind of, that's kind of noticeable, especially that kind of, like, little blue flashing outside. I definitely didn't see anything like that. So that kind of makes me think that it might have been something, like, really far away. And I can actually see something over towards the west. No, I can't. That's a dead pixel on my screen. Ignore me. <laughs> but in saying that, we can see all of these different subway stations that have been marked on the map. We may not be able to see how they link up down here, but we can actually see them on the map. Either way, we have to get a move on up this way here. We do have a brainless zombie down here that we are just going to leave alone, maybe? Zombie Strider. Oh, weird starfish looking thing. Okay, yet again, if we don't need to fight it right this second, we won't. And, whoa, okay. We just got grabbed out of nowhere by this zombie prowler. Okay, so we are going to go and throw you back with a force shove, getting you away from us. And then we're going to immediately go and turn on our light so that we can see exactly what's going on here. We can see zombie striders, zombie prowlers, shady zombies, and troglobites. So there's a bit of trouble up this way. Um, we can probably outpace them. That colossal slug is kind of going to help us out as well. Um, the prowler, I'm going to try and see if we can get around here. Oh boy, that's a little bit more of a problem. That's even more of a... That's most certainly a problem. Okay, so Farhand, how far can you get us at the moment? Uh, nearly enough to get Elliot, so we are just going to have to run in his direction and try and Farhand again. Elliot, come on. There we go. We've grabbed him, we've brought him back on over towards us, and we're going to let that slug and the prowler just kind of go at it. We're going to take down the shady zombie here. Um, okay. All right, you're coming back for round two, huh? Um, it is a bit of a problem, so we are just going to fire hand it towards us now so that we can start to try and strike it. Dusk doing a damn good job at that. It's nearly dead. And there we go, we've got it. So I think it actually killed the colossal slug up there. Gnarly. 
Okay, because we're gonna come back this way, I think it's probably worth us smashing that colossal slug. Um, is it gonna splatter acid everywhere? I guess that's my question. Um, let's be safe here, and we're just going to dismember it. It takes us two minutes to do that, but I think it's worth it. Um, we should also keep in mind we are tired now. Dusk has had a super freaking long day, so we're going to eat some of those snacks that she's been picking up. We are going to have uh, two of the caffeinated chewing gum that she's got recently, and we're going to take some painkillers as well. Uh, let's see, just two aspirin for now, just to try and deal with that mild pain that she's had building up. Uh, under our effects, we have already lost the effect of the spell that we had going in the last. So it lasts for a while, but it doesn't last forever. We will need to keep that in mind when we are eating large amounts of food. Okay, now we've got a bit of a split in the rail. It looks like we are going to continue along the second path here. So let's get going, Dusk. I guess we could quickly pop up just to see if they have anything interesting going on. There is a devourer that we can make out. And is that a predator or a hunter? It's a predator. I'd rather not fight the predator because they can be super deadly. They jump from far away. They more often than not instantly pierce through your armor and can leave you with some really really significant wounds um i mean they can get you to like life-threatening bleeding out status in no time at all uh we are seeing a zombie over here go and kill that one real quick there was another that we saw briefly uh yet again not worth us getting into that mix right now we have places to be we have people to see uh david in the cave being one of them all right, so that was pretty easy going for us. There were a few colossal slugs, but we didn't really have to worry about them all that much. And that, that is the subway station that we're looking for there. So we've got to get past one more station and then we'll be home free. Well, not home free, but we'll be close to our destination. And oh boy, that's a significant amount of acid. So we'll avoid slugs where we can find them. And the same goes for spiders. We'll send you away from us for now. And we did actually have something marked on the map there. Oh, it was a drug deal gone bad. We'll see what the situation is looking like up here. Peeking, it's not good. There's a bloated zombie there. And we have a dino destroyer over here. It's a medium-sized bipedal dinosaur. Large, sickle-shaped claws. Okay, that's a gnarly looking thing. Let's see how it fares against us. Not well. Not well, we were far faster than that thing, but there is another that's making its way on over towards us, and we have a Migo behind us to boot. <laughs> Elliot, wonderful, look at that, he's using his tail now as well. Good work, man. That, <laughs> that reptilian tail is doing, it's doing things. Let's force shove that Migo away, we don't need to fight that thing right now, and if it wants to fight our enemies, I'm totally okay with that. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. Elliot did just get pretty decently bitten by the slathering biter up here. We'll just need to make sure that it isn't infected. No, it is okay. It's minor bleeding. He'll be able to live. Or, you know, he should be able to. Let's go and use a adhesive bandage just in case. It is his torso after all. We need to protect that thing. There are so many wood lice down here. Oh, and I think that Migo is still chasing us. We've arrived at the subway station. Uh, it's a little hard to tell if it's going for us or the wood lice, but regardless, we're going to try and see if we can kill this thing. It is trying to get away right now. We're not going to let that happen. If it does try and flee, we will far head it back towards us. That Migo is dead. And so are the other dead that seem to be flooding their way down the stairs right now. I'm just making sure that there is nothing else up there. There certainly is. So ideally, it would be great if we could get those things to come down and attack us, like that, for example. The Necro Boomer is a bit of a problem because that will just revive everything that's around it. So we kind of want Elliot to avoid it. We don't want him to directly attack it, if possible. Um, it looks like we might actually be able to move up this set of stairs here. Oh, that's not good. Not good, not good. Okay, so we need to go and mind hammer that thing there. We need to mind hammer the other one that's there, which is going to leave us without a large amount of stamina. We're going to step back onto the stairs, make our way back down here. Elliot just killed the necro boomer, and we've just had another boomer pop down here. It wasn't close enough, though, to kind of really set things off. We are going to mind hammer you <laughs> so that we don't get covered. And then we have to deal with a warehouse spider that is <laughs> charging towards us. And boy, Man, these things actually do a considerable amount of damage. It is trying to run away, though, it looks like. Well, maybe not. A little hard to tell. Oh, it's just trying to drag us away now. Oh, maybe not. 
hard to tell. We're going to force shove that away from us. See if we can have a little bit of a breather here. Is that the same sucker? It might be. It might not be. It is difficult to tell. It is trying to attack the zombie right now, though. And it's going for the... Sh or the shocker or no the zapper that's good let's let it do that let's let it injure itself and then let's also let it get smacked against the wall that sounds good what is that oh an unseen hunter of course it is okay i don't even know if we actually bounced it off the wall there so that's unfortunate the unseen hunter is a bit of a problem but we managed to actually hit it then good We'll keep trying to do that if we can. We're getting a little bit low on stamina, more than I would like. Heavy arterial bleeding on this thing. I think we're just going to try and see if we can force shove it away for now. Ideally, ideally, we start to try and get up the stairs now. Yes, there are more things up here, but there's less up here than there is downstairs. Or at least that seems to be the case. Okay, you, buddy, you need to die. Let's go and force shove you back against that wall there. That's good. That's more damage. It is significantly injured now. It's bleeding. And I don't think it wants to continue fighting. So, we hear, I should never have trusted you. I'm not sure where that's coming from. It's not coming from Elliot right this second. Let's go check out this little tool room for a second. Um, concrete mixer, more concrete mixers, and a reciprocating saw. I mean, we can use this to cut through things when we need to, but Dusk is also a reciprocating saw. Just not as fine uh, when it comes to the slicing and dicing. You, I think we are just going to continue to slam against the wall because you are... You're a long-term problem that I am not a fan of. Um, so, we're going to go for a Mind Hammer now and follow that up with another Force Shove. And then we're going to go and smash that corpse after taking a little bit of a break and then falling asleep. Great. I think Elliot did help us there uh, briefly. He killed something. A feral dwarf. Well done. Well done. Oh, we're hearing explosions upstairs. That's that's great. That's fine. Okay. That whole time we didn't have Tai Chi on. I, I, I know. I realize that. If it was really bad, that's when we're switching over. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on here at the moment. In amongst all of these bodies, nothing that we really want. Um, we were hearing some noise in here, which makes me think that we probably had some feral dwarfs like falling down from the ceiling. Eh, it's just a shocker. So let's leave that there. And I think before we leave, we'll try and use the ATM here. Transfer all that money, or rather deposit it all. And we'll withdraw it just onto the one card for now. Nearly 30,000. Good bloody stuff, Dusk. Okay. And you know what? I, I guess I should try and pay a little bit closer attention to the vending machines there may be things in them i will try and keep my eyes out but more often than not it looks like there ain't much going on there and oh boy okay so there's a bit of trouble in the neighborhood uh there is actually a crater down here as well the zapper we are just going to go and fling that back against the wall ideally we'll let it come a little bit closer towards us just so it gets some more velocity and then we're going to get ready to fight. We're actually chilly for a little bit downstairs, it seems. Let's go for you. Let's go for you. And then we're going to deal with the others. That pupating zombie, we need to kill ASAP before bad things happen. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got there in the end. Good job, Dusk. Let's come back into the sunlight. <laughs> the sunlight, the shade, the opposite of what we actually want. The sunlight we definitely want to try and stay out of. Um, so we've got more things flooding down the stairs towards us. Ideally, did you... What, what, what just happened there? A bolt of electricity arcs off of you. I don't think we had our shock stuff active. So that must have been the, gal the galvanic armor doing its thing. Yeah, okay. Because this is a... This is a feral mechanic. Unless they threw... No, they, they literally just threw a rock. That was, that was it. Okay. Um, yeah, strange. Okay. Jeez, the mechanic put up a little bit of a fight there. And yet again, rocks hurt. Wow, okay. <laughs> Not cool. We're going to throw you back. And um, yeah, <laughs> these rocks are doing far more than I would like them to. We're going to use our far hand to go and pull you in towards us between us and Elliot and boy man there's more of them there as well all right we're going back downstairs <laughs> we're going back downstairs we're going to take a moment here um see where they end up they're probably going to end up somewhere else I think kind of just like we did then okay you're over there uh we're going to try and make our way towards you we are going to force shove you back against that wall there um I think it died okay more sparks huh oh that's coming from downstairs 
Right, it is the zapper, the shocker that we left in the basement. Um, so its sparks are making their way upstairs. Right, I, I understand what's happening now. Okay, so they weren't our sparks after all. We're in severe pain, so we definitely need to do something about that. We're going to apply a decent bandage to our left leg and also to our torso. And then we are going to have to take some more significant pain killing. So two ibuprofen. It is severe pain currently. Um, I guess we could also just have a joint as well. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna stay here a little bit in the shade, try and see if uh, that pain subsides somewhat. Unmanageable pain. That's not good. It's not great. Giving it a little bit longer. We're getting towards six at the moment. And the cave is just there. Uh, how bad are things outside? They don't seem too bad on the surface, but we don't know for certain. Uh, we do have that zapper over there. There is a zombie runner around as well. We're just going to try and go out around the south for now. The zapper has seen us. That's a bad time. That is a bad time. All right. So, unfortunately, still taking those zaps. But... It's okay, we're all right. Our pain has shot back up again. Our strength is looking okay though. Our dexterity is also looking okay as well. Pain killing, we can probably do a little bit more of. Let's have some more aspirins and just give it a second or two here. We're seeing a tough zombie. I wanna see how bad things are up towards the north. We're gonna have to face these things before we go outside. Tai Chi is back on now. <laughs> properly, properly. Okay, unfortunately, that smashed glass is going to cause us a little bit of a problem. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Okay, that's not good. It doesn't really matter which way we cut it. It's going to be bad if we go up to the top here or down to the bottom. So we're going to try and go a different route altogether. We're going to try and go over here towards the east, through the house that's here, and then just away. The idea is to try and break line of sight if we can. Um... And it looks like we're probably going to have to do a little bit of fighting here, potentially. Ideally, what we do is we just send things away, and we get away. That, that's my plan here. Uh, we're going to have to do the same thing over here as well, with that Shrieker. We send them back into something. Um, this is a dead end. That, that's a dead end. We don't, we don't want to deal with that. So we are going to have to deal with you, unfortunately. Okay, so the Devourer, we are not going to send it anywhere because we feel a sense of loss currently, which means that there is something inhibiting our powers, and it's that right there, the zombie blank. So we need to take off with a bit of a run here. We need to try and kill what we can and just help Elliot uh, stay away from the dead right now, which, you know what? It's actually kind of, kind of going okay. All things considered there. And he is going to continue to run alongside us. You're doing great, dude. You're doing great. So we've only got a few following us at the moment. Uh, a little bit more than a few. And there's a bit more than a few up towards the north as well. Okay. So how far are we from our goal? A little ways away. We've got a public garden that's there as well. That's where most of the dead were. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to... We're just going to have to deal with this problem, I think. All right. Let's start to attack you. Knock you away when you get close. Elliot is also helping us out with strikes as well. This is this is good. This is working. We're in a comfortable position. I like it. The Gargoul over here is going to come and cause a little bit of trouble for Elliot. That's fine. We are managing. Ooh, are we managing? No. Things are going to get bad real fast. So let's send that back. Elliot, follow me into here. We need to kill, we need to get through here as quickly as we can because we can lose a large amount of the dead that are here. Um, just don't get grabbed, buddy. Okay, now that I say this, we're probably gonna have to go to the basement. Uh, <laughs> the situation is getting not so great pretty quickly. Um, okay, basement it is, my brother. It's a few things down here with us. Uh, can I get past you, comrade? You can in just a moment. We've got flesh raptors down here that we need to kill immediately. We've got a mind hammer, and we've got to follow up with yet another mind hammer. Uh, we lose concentration. Let's try that again. Oh, damn it. We don't have the range. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. We can't see. Not great. <laughs> not great. <laughs> Covered in bile. This is fine. That's not fine. Ow. Come on. Something impales your torso. Don't like that. Don't like that. Do we have time to use some saline to try and clear our eyes? 
It's the whole reason we got it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Elliot might have killed the other thing down here. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Um, Flesh Raptor, you still around here? You are. You're just in the corner. All right, we're just going to bonk you off the wall there. Oh, that was a good bonk. Okay. Looks like there was a pupating zombie up there. It was killed by something. There's some alcohol wipes up there. Uh, we'll see if there's anything else in this basement right now. So, yeah, traveling during the day in the mega city, it's, it's always going to be interesting. And that was certainly an interesting encounter up there. And we're going to have to try and deal with it in interesting ways. Um, so, I think trying to manage the fight here as best as possible is going to be how we have to try and do this. I think if we try and make our way downstairs, um, Elliot will move out of the way for us. So that's kind of what we need to rely on. Um, we also need to be mindful of blanks if they are around us, because they are going to be more than a little bit of a problem. Um, Elliot, I'm just going to push you away for now, because we've got sludge on either side. I guess it would be good if that sludge wasn't there. I'm trying to clear it off. So we've got a zombie cop that's starting to come downstairs, so we're just going to get ready to strike. Um, we should really start to employ all of our tactics. So we're going to go for the discharge, we are going to go for the Voltaic strikes. Uh, we will just try and get that up. I don't think we did. Yep, lightning crackles between your fingers. That's great. So if we hold in this position here, two things can come through. Uh, which I'm okay with, but it also means that Dusk and Elliot can attack things at the same time. Alright, let's try and get our breath back, see if anything else comes downstairs. We spotted a zombie runner. Um, I don't know where. Alright, let's try and breathe some more. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing okay. Peeking back upstairs. It looks like they've, they're kind of lingering around this area here. This house would be a great house to just set on fire if it was night. Because it's day things will see us and it'll well it might not go great all right well we took down that runner uh we got lit up uh, significantly let's make our way back down here let the uh the group start to make their way towards us i mean we can see a zombie but we can't attack it right now because it's not fully making its way down the stairs we can see that it's there oh there we go so it's just holding down the attack, so effectively waiting for something to come downstairs. There we go, that works. So it's a way for us to pass time and just kind of get ready. The current in your hands is fading. Okay, we may want to try and get that back up again. Voltaic strikes. We lose our concentration. All right, we'll try that again. There we go, crackling. Get our breath back as well. We will step up. Okay, and we're hearing a lot of activity down below from Elliot. Lashing Zombie is there, Grappler is there, the Grappler does actually see us, which, yeah, that could be a bit of a problem, if that actually does get a grapple on us. We'll push Elliot back again, take a step back here, take that Grappler down, there we go, okay, well, that was unfortunate, we can still see the square in front of us though, so that's still okay. Alright, peeking back upstairs again, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to fight this fight in these small little bits. Uh, there is a bit of smoke around here though, which is not great. There is a smoker, um, so we'll have to try and manage that fight as best we can. Uh, damn those elves. Uh, so the boomer, I want to try and see if I can boom that from a distance, if possible. Looking at hitting it with a mind hammer. Excellent. I'll take that. I will take that. And then we'll just head back downstairs again, moving towards the side, just waiting for something to appear. <laughs> Elliot immediately taking out that kid. What can I say? It's his, uh, it's his speciality, really. Yeah, it takes him a little while to come downstairs. We feel woozy. Uh, we have taken a few different things today, uh, so I can totally understand that being a part of that. A feral elf just died immediately as soon as it came downstairs. Looks like we've got a grappler. Okay, grappler is also down. Let's see if we can continue smashing this corpse. Oh, not a chance. There's already, already something else there. Gosh, okay, yeah, they're, they're coming down pretty quickly now. But we are really limiting their numbers here by using the staircase to our advantage. And it says that there is something on the stairs still, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, there we go, okay. Stepping onto the stairs, we can actually fight it that way. I like that, I will take that. And it doesn't seem like we can uh, move because there is something up there. Zombie struggles to stand. All right, let's just peek upstairs. 
still pretty bad up there. And there's also a zombie necromancer, which is not good. If we're up here, like actually proper up here and not just peeking, we could get grabbed and that would not be the kind of scenario that we want to be in. That's not the fight that we want to have. So we're just going to hope that they continue to make their way down towards us like that. And we will deal with them um, the way that we do. Although in saying that, if it's been a little while and they haven't shown their faces, we will go and peek again, see what's going on. The brainless zombie here is probably creating a bit of a bottleneck uh, because it can't really detect us super easy. So unfortunately, we can't seem to attack them from here right now. So it, they're, they're refusing to step onto the stairs. I may have to just push it and go upstairs. There's nothing here that can attack us with range. So we'll just see if we can clear that way a little bit here. If I could mind hammer or force shove the necromancer, I'd be happy. Uh, doesn't look like it did much damage though. So we'll try a mind hammer instead, ignoring that kid for the moment. Oh, it's right in front of us. So we could just try and fight it hand to hand. So far, yep, that works out for us. But the smoke, the smoke is on its way. We don't see the smoker. We don't know where the smoker is, but we can clear out the numbers a little bit more just by standing at the top of the stairs here until that smoke starts to reach us. And we're kind of at that point now. It's not quite on our square yet, but <laughs> Elliot really wants to be in the fight. So we'll back off. We'll back off. We'll just kill anything else that comes downstairs. Oh, there we go. Tough zombie actually managed to take quite a bit of damage there. And we do have smoke finally starting to make its way downstairs. So that, that is a little bit more of a problem for us because it you know, it makes leaving here that much harder. But hey, things are still coming downstairs. The lashing zombie is here. And the second the smoker gets here, we can deal with it. And the way that I think we want to try and do that is by trying to stay further away from it and pop it at a distance, uh, if possible. But who knows if that's even going to be remotely possible. We're just going to just wait here, pass some time. Smoke is filtering around. It's gone on the stairs for now. So I'm just going to poke my head up. Okay. There is no smoker actually by the stairs right now, and things do seem to be relatively clear. So, with that, we are going to take advantage of the lapse in the horde's momentum. Dusk and Elliot will escape this basement, and they will make it to David the Cave Dweller. As, for the moment, he seems to be on the level. But we know how quickly that can change in Cataclysm. And after that, we have a radio tower beckoning, which may reveal more things of interest to us in the area. Alas, we have found no welding rods. But who knows, in the end, we may not even need them. If we can get enough charge into our vehicle, enough fuel, we can keep it going for a long time. We just won't be able to upkeep it easily. Really, we should be responsible. We should try and find what we can. But we have to keep in mind, this is no hope. Things are never easy in Cataclysm. And in no hope, with a reduced item spawn? My gosh, well, we've had quite the challenge. And we still have even more of those challenges ahead of us. It is day 31 of summer, and Elliot and Duskwood are still breathing. The twins, stronger than ever. Let us hope that the Cataclysm fails to break them yet. And Legionnaires, I ask you all, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you've enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay awesome.